Hello and welcome back to Death in Texas. Uh, we're gonna continue with day 15 and let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, I can't actually remember. Let's see. Ah, but the mirror's there. What timer is Yes! You did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon, we'll be but mere motes beside your blazing glory. What are you rambling about now? Bask in my splendor. Oh, mirror. I'm not sure. Now I'm gonna take the first one. Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your majesty. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. And that's it. Okay. Did I finish my day? Oh no, yeah, I actually finished and now it's the next day. Do your job. Congratulations, Grim. You passed the performance review as expected. But let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Quota for the day. A total of six humans have to die. So pretty much everyone. At least three humans with a scientific background have to die. At least two human age 30 or younger have to die. Well, that's hard. Two people. Humans are so easily corrupted. Good reaping. Fate. What are the news? Black magic is a danger to youth. Local wildlife reportedly happy this morning for the, some reason. Cosmopolis suburbs announce record levels of clean air, recovering from decades of coal explosion. Exploitation. <laughs> Explosion. A surgery makes headway in skin regeneration. Limp regrowth probably still decades away. <laughs> okay. Foolhardy pilot attempts complicated aerial stunt, crashes aircraft straight into the ground. Drunken crane operator tips crane into the sea. Doctors baffle a local scandal mon monger, monger suffocates due to own inflate inflated self importance. Rowdy parties on the rise cause disturbance at various neighborhoods. There are so many messages. Fighting game developers toolshed announced new league for upcoming Grand Reaper fight. <laughs> Cosmopolis hosting the basketball season final match. Tune in or cheer from the arena for the home crowd. Okay. Uh, then I would say we should gonna start. Also fun. Baraday, 24, basketball player. Asif, who started off as a student of sci sociology, is currently on the path of becoming the highest scoring power forward in local college basketball history. When not training or studying, they often help out in the community. He's a good guy. He's just having his life. Um, yeah. Then we've got Raiko Hisukawa, 32, digital athlete. Raiko, father of six, has won the championship title for Grand Reaper <laughs> four eight times making them the prevailing world's best at set finding game after retiring due to age they have pr pivoted towards tournament commentary and coaching new players a father of six with 32 well he's productive hmm? oh my god i can't kill him he got so many kids Aaron j rosen 23 drug dealer oof Aaron is a small-time criminal selling low-grade narcotics to those who just want to party. Lately, they have started experimenting with different chemical compounds to figure out if they could con concoct any new interesting blends. Well, if I could choose between him and him, then then he's probably gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, he's gonna die. He's gonna gonna go here. Evan Remes, he's also twenty-three, would also fit to this one. At least a two months age 30 or younger. Uh, 40. I lurk in the night searching for blood suckers. Irvin has said to the authorities many times. They claim to be a vampire hunter, safeguarding humanity against these terrors of the night. But are vampires truly or out there? The answer might surprise you. It's nope. It's. I don't know. I have no idea. What is this? No idea. It's the no idea stack. Mint, 20. A gang member. Mint comes from an abusive family which ultimately made them very protected of their older sister. Mint would do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district. One 
who takes good care of their own. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Then you're gonna die. I mean, they're protecting the sister. I know you're coming from an abusive family, but like gang, gang. I have no idea how how bad this is. Glory, Magnus, and Halbert, 42 historian, when still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views in society and the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interest in societal issues to gain greater knowledge of history and the myriad structures that have affect our lives. It's very neutral. My, my birds are on my desk. No, that's my coffee. Mm -hmm. That's just my coffee. It's not yours. You can't take this one. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that was the vampire thingy. Sarah Sile, 30, asteroid hunter. What began as constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal was to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the asteroid destroy unit in the military. Ooh. Okay, oh my god, there are so many good people here. Henry Berg. Berg? 43 literary critic when the adolescent henry poked a fellow student with a pen they realized from that moment onwards that their best friends will only be found on the pages of books as these friends cannot be directly poked with pens <sighs> i don't know i don't have like pers something personal with this guy we need three more you're gonna d definitely survive you are a good guy um <laughs> Damn. It just <laughs> I'm struggling. He's helping out the community, okay. Um I think I'm going to kill you. Um Probably she's going to be important, though. Oh, maybe she's important. I don't know. But he's helping in the community. You know what? I'm going to keep those three alive. And I'm going to kill him. Um, it just... It feels not okay. That's the thing. Yep. I know I have to kill like six, but I can't do this. So let's see what's going to happen. Do, 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 do. Hello, Fate. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. Uh, good evening. <laughs> I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Pretty good. Hmm. Basic one day follows another. Rough things got really bad. I saw a lot of pain and suffering with that. I'm not sure how much of this I can handle. Hmm. I mean, you're gonna get slowly get used to it, right? But still. Hmm. I'm gonna take this Just one. Just so. Even we cannot stop the constant advance of time. No, that's true. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. The papers. Pa hmm. Oops. You have marked fewer deaths than required. I really hope you would avoid such errors by now. This is not an error. I did this on purpose. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well. What must be done? Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Yes, it was good to hear I'm such a good worker. I'm not sure about the whole rebellion thing you spoke of. I don't really care. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a <laughs> personable dialogue. The two options are very interesting. I'm still a bit unclear on the origin of the rules. Or how long is the day anyway? Ah, the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. 
Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region. Oh, then how does it work? Time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, weeks, months may pass at different intervals. Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. I actually like how he's speaking and the theory about time. That is why causal links are difficult to establish and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm, the origin of the rules. What do you mean? Do you pick what's supposed to happen and thus make it happen? Am I the one who actually picks and makes things happen? That's a very oh, good question. Of the sort. The world and the people therein create the situation themselves without our interference. Our data mongers assemble, collate, and examine wide swathes of data and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure Slightly. How can that be? If I mark profiles, don't these decisions affect other people? Hmm, in a sense. But this is certainly not a one-to-one -one sequence of causal links. You should consider, time works a bit differently in here. I like the pause you did. Mm, differently. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What's... My history, was I... someone? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. And... Where did my parts come from? The store. And places. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Do you play chess? I recall some film about death with tons of chess. No. I am instead particular to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent oh. and imperialistic. I see. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nope, we're done. Until tomorrow, Grim. See ya. And now it's shopping time or we're gonna go to the bar. Of course, I'm not getting money because I failed. I have failed. How much money Shiver do I have? Oh, that's a pumpkin. Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium. Uh... <laughs> a curious gourd. Autumn falls, this elegant countenance is meant to be worn for the celebrations during the gloomiest time of the year. It really brings out the eyes, those deep, soulless, empty, dark eyes. Damn, it's. Hmm. No, it's not that expensive. I'm gonna buy that. A spooky tale if there was one. Stumbled upon a gothic like castle during me travels once. Seemed like good looting at first, but nay. A monster hunted them corridors. Head large and round, eyes shining like two lamps aflame. Twas paralyzing. Never have I been so frightened of anything in my life. Turns out, it was the Baron who'd got the curse of the wear pumpkin. Only happens during full moons, though. And even then, only one month a year. So tis not much of a curse. All right, I want to equip it now. Or probably tomorrow, right? Let's see. Oh, it's here. Do, do, do. Oh, it's the pop. Oh, damn, this is creepy. Oh, that's really creepy. I like this one. End the day. <clears throat> Look here, Grim. The population numbers are immense again. Okay, this time we will try some new methods of alleviating, overcrowding and strengthening the equilibrium. I have great faith in these in these more structural techniques. Quite over the day, a total of two humans have to die. Doable. Humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. What does this mean? This may be the key fate. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. So this one and this one, am I understanding this right? Let's read the news first. Critic dies from blood poisoning after accidentally stabbing with themselves with pen. Jack or 
after a thousand page historical analysis of cosmopolicity to be published posthumously. A vampire is a real vampire hunter found dead in an alley with two puncture mark in their throat. Okay, he didn't believe him. Local thug stepped in a gang related incident. Slum is finally addressed after gang conflict ends through assassination of crime boss and close associates. Experimenting drug dealer invents powerful hallucinogen, accidentally stumbles off bridge. Oops, what are digital elites of yest yesteryear up to these days? Button mashing, not a well ejected study uh, finds, and promising basketball player seriously injures knee in on a court collision. Big asteroid alert, it's coming right for us. Ooh. But we've got the person who survived. Melissa S. McGill, 33, special agent. The searching for the Bureau of Agriculture has been out. Who has always wanted to be a bodyguard with the president as they have extensive experience in safeguarding the well-being of crops and other flora. They once even played double agent for two contesting potato magnets. What is this? Okay. Talia Alfarzi, 64, president. Ooh. Talia is the current president of Formosa, recently elected after years of working as a professor of economic theory. They are, they are known for being critical of exploitative structures and pushing for more wealth Quality. They have three kids and eight grandchildren. That sounds extremely nice. We're gonna definitely survive. Manuel Castellan, 54, doctor. After the kids are working as a doctor, Manuel ultimately just got really tired of it. Nowadays, they are experimenting with dead bodies, trying to sew them together in order to create some sort of a new life form that could potentially live forever. Do I want this? And Tamao Hidaka, 32, 31, astronaut, inspired by playing Space Intruder a lot as a kid, Tamao decided to, jo to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training, and they must now land on its surface to blow it up. I think he's very important, so he's gonna live, and I'm just gonna say those two are just gonna die, and the last one, this is not gonna happen then. This is just unlucky, but this is how I decide, yes. Do, 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 do. What's in the shop today? Ahoy. Oh, a pleasure what's to this, see a again. mask? The plaque doctor. Uh, sporting a super stylish beak, the mask heals from an era of epidemics. The physicians with little to no medical expertise try to elevate the suffering of the inflicted. An ill omen, but it really fancies up my visage. Visage, not a visage. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's very expensive. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to Fate again. He's gonna complain and complain. He's never happy. Yes, yes, no money. Grim, my fellow colleague. I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. Okay. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Uh, why is he asking me? Why not? Uh, um, it's not really my place to say. <laughs> Can be any worse than some other writers out there. <laughs> um, yeah, why not? Why not? Indeed. Why not? I shall continue my contemplation. But for now... It is time for daily feedback. Oh no. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. Okay. You are a testament to meticulousness. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> the cad mutters in contentment. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. He's happy, I'm happy, cat is happy. We're all happy now, perfect. <coughs> Spawn mail. A fresh idea. I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. You will be required to demonstrate utmost precision today. All humans in the bottom row have to die. Bottom row, this one. Keep the cows away, will you? Cheers, fate. Ah, oh, we will see. For most in economy gradually improving after critical economic reforms. That's good. Click here, Talia Alfarzi re-election campaign video. Several members of high-ranking politician security detail injured and one dead as fireworks display goes every a public event corpse stealing doctor found dead neck snapped oops it's alive a monstrosity seen lurking around the back alleys of cosmopolis city okay 
Big asteroid successfully blown up. Asteroids returned unscathed. Then, are the living corpses real and here to eat your children? Nice. Vampire fanatic claims they have information on who killed vampire hunter Remus. Remus. Mm, okay. In the bottom row. I'm not sure about this. Zaskia Salone has 19 students. Zaskia has, per has a penchant for studying in general. They're not really trying to get anywhere or achieve anything specific at the moment. They're just learning all that comes within their field of view. This approach may at least get them on the college challenge quiz team. I mean, it's nothing. Just. It's just a normal student life. Achek Nord. Achek Nord. Achek. 30 Lumberjack. Uh, Achek owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they can occasionally clear protected habitats, habitats by mistake, destroying homes of thousands of <gasps> He is killing birds! This is unacceptable rip! Then we've got Verity Hawthorne, 55, industry chemist. Verity has been working at the pharmaceutical industry for decades, trying to find a delix decelerator for aging. While lately it seems that the discovery might actually come from biogenetics, Verity is certain they can concoct some sort of chemical compound that gets the job done. Okay, I'm gonna go the the top line. Samuel Van Selak, 44, editor. Samuel is an editor with a tragic past and one they've always kept to them, uh, themselves. Every day it gnaws at them, causing intense sorrow that can never be alleviated. To numb it all, they have become addicted to painkillers, which often cause them to hallucinate mythological things. Should we just gonna say he's just gonna die? He's dying to painkillers? I don't know yet. Wi Walt Guybrush, 47 Media Entertainment Mogul. Walt grew up with the dream of owning an independent film studio, which they established with a partner when they were just 23. The past 20 years, the small frolics in productions has grown into the most expensive producer of artistic entertainment news content in the world, bringing a diversified variety of joint shares to all. Now you're gonna survive. I like this. I like this. I'm gonna put this like this. It up at the first. What is this? Unemployed monstrosity, a life or death, this undead creation of Manuel Castellan usually hides either in the sewers of Kispo City or in a cabinet the surrounding forest. They're eloquent and always interested in discussing existential philosophy, ideas surrounding life and death for obvious reasons. But we can't kill him, right? Matthias Bart, 47 unemployed. Matthias had been following the escape fates of urban Ramus for a while getting over more obsessed with the the existence of vampire vampires they've been seen lurking in abandoned houses creeping manors and dark alleys dude what are you doing don't you have other things to do in your life i Seems that the discovery might actually come from biogenetics. Oh my god, this is so hard, this decision. What am I gonna do? He's an editor and he's just hallucinating about mythological things. Ah. Uh. I wish I could just ask the chat now. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, this is too hard. I'm just gonna eat this time. I, okay, you know what? I'm gonna follow the instructions. Even though I like the two there. Okay, you're gonna live. I wanna see what's gonna happen. And we're done. This is gonna be very interesting with this guy. Decision making. Hello, Fate. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Maybe, but it's not our call to make. 
Yes, they should all go. No, we need them. <laughs> Perhaps we do still hold some control over the levers. But honestly, it's all way over my head. I really don't see this line of thought going anywhere. I'm just here to follow orders. Can humans add it to the mortality somehow? Oh, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Mm, actually, I do have thoughts on loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Don't you think this slows to one way? It doesn't seem fair because I've got basically no agency. It's nothing special. I just like doing what I'm told. Hmm. Hmm. It just actually just going one way. Such is the nature of loyalty. Hardly. You're just arrogant. Always demanding, never giving back. Ha! Grand. A reaper demanding its due. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <laughs> live. See what I... Where is your sense of humor? <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Wait, I didn't even get my daily review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you. Kinda. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. And all that, okay. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. Alright. 400. I get money, money, money. Money. What's Ye here? You drive a hard bargain, mate. I want to get the lamp. Does love a good and the stuff. mask. This is so nice. Oof. Infernal Illuminator. Yes, I'm going to The base it. the marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Ogward. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. His voice still reminds me of Torian. Pranked him right back by <laughs> knocking his teeth out. <laughs> and the Calavera. Only noble craftsmen can craft an alphanique of this Calibre. Exquisite tasty. No one can deny. I have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. I'm also going to buy that one. has a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? A wild night, certainly. There yeah, they're muertos. Celebrating the passing of mi amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mask stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. I think it's a holiday in Mexico. I don't have money anymore. All right. Oof. Spent so much money. Where is it? Oh, let's see. Ooh! That's so nice. Oh, that's even more nicer. Gonna take this one. Go to bat. Four Grim. Tidings Grim. Life should not do... Should not to be predictable. Do you not agree? We could use a little bit of alteration and alternation every so often and i have developed just the thing for it could have heard that every every other profile has to die what must now return to my research every other profile has to die okay the falconer news agency acquired by frolix production in another vertical merger Watch out, small timers. For like this fast growing into the ultimate platform for all your education and entertainment needs. Chemist uses experimental anti aging drug on themselves. Finally, younging until funny ceases to exist. Oops. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de aging research. Envy editor arrested for carrying out a violent spree of vengeance. Oh, I thought so. Lugging company owner dies of sudden heart failure, leaves anti fortune to leading cancer fund. Oh my god, can you have a heart attack due to massive guilt? We have the research. It up had the possibly undead comes out of hiding and rolls at Central Cosmopolis University. Odd corpse person inspires new ideas about tissue damage and flesh regeneration. Matthias 
Bart, arrested for the murder of Vampire Hunter, confesses to poking two tiny holes into the net. Ouch! Arrest is a cover up the truth as out there, vampires erasing their tracks. Okay. So, what is this? Nice. I can't even read. Oh no! What? What is this lamp doing? Why did I buy this again? It's every time the same. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused. Okay. Every other profile has to die. Uh, Rust Angelos, 32 firefighter. Rust Angelos joined the firefighters primarily to get access to free gem and to woo people at bars by flexing and repeating how they say so many lives. Curiously enough, every time there's a big wild where they take sick leave. Okay. Every time there's a big wild where they take sick leave. So he's not working? He, he joined the firefighters primary to get access to free gem. Yeah, sorry, but this is so bad. This is extremely bad. The color of... Why is it so red suddenly? Oh, we'll f I will find out. Ferdi Ferdinino Lorca. 35. Ferdinino Fer Fernandino. Loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. Then if it support of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils. In their free time, Fernandino... Fernandino... Likes bird watching, pirate, pirate films, and selling bottle, bootleg, bootleg as a ray disc. They also have a modest popular film review blog. He's a good guy. I'm not gonna kill everyone. Rufan Adal, 32, stay at home parents. Rufan enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for a same sex couple. Another perk of being a stay at home parent for Rufa is the possibility to play Planet of Peacecraft at any free, <laughs> at any free moment. You've got three kids and you're gonna be happy. I'm gonna let you. This is my run now. Jewel Grey, 35, but I chemist. She was. Uh, born in the countryside but moved to the big city to go to the university. They like rock concerts and bars, although they with it, their wizards have fallen due to having substance abuse issues in the past. They're trying to find a cure for chicken flu. He's trying to find a cure for chicken flu. He should he should survive. Brian Kalatinaikos. 31 janitor Ra raking leaves is hard blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun this is why brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower starting already at six in the morning <laughs> the toxic humes the machine emits don't concern them one bit dude it's six in the morning i'm so close to done and let him just die i have no idea now Kerry Haven, 32 botanist. Guarding is Kerry's favorite pastime and also their line of work. They enjoy growing edible, exotic plants and experimenting with different recipes. They are also an expert in natural poisons. <sighs> um, I'm just scared this is going to lead to something bad, you know? Rini Oshagnizi, 27 tweet teacher. Rini teaches languages and literary criticism to high schoolers, an arduous task, all things considered. They have an interest in education science with the aim to upgrade the teaching methods of other teachers, as many of the old timers are not up to date with the modern approaches. You're gonna survive. Louis Simenos, 36, restaurant owner. Got bunches for shark fin, but can't find any. Not if Louis Simenos is near. They're a big fan of shark fin and other questionable foods like turtle jelly, which Louis has served in their restaurant for a decade. They are all involved in distributing these food items to grocery stores. No, thank you. This is a not nice. Please don't call these animals. Um, don't concern them one bit. I mean, we're all doing like mistakes. 
damn, both are young. I'm, I think you're gonna survive. I'm just hoping you're not gonna do bad things. What am I gonna do with you? Hmm. This is why Bran takes care of leaves exclusively with. Ex he's saying exclusive only with this? This is not gonna work. Okay. Rip. I'm not killing everyone. I can't. Excited to hear my revelation. Oh, Mira time. Hey there. What you up to, killer? Uh, killer? I'm not a killer. Will you ever leave me alone? Sure you are. The I'm doing just my job. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Uh, honestly, no. to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. Reaper. That's my name, so what? I'm not hurting anyone personally, not my place to read all the status quo. The great engine of life. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Someone's gotta stop it. Just happens to be you. Directly in control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. Do you think so? Interesting. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think sure. I have reached a conclusion. I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Is this really what my job has to come to? No, I recall it nothing of the sort. Uh, I am sorry. <laughs> am I taking up too much of your precious time? No. With my insignificant oh my God. fancies? He's, he's pissed now. now. Listen. Oh. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. He's just telling me anyway. I should compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Cool. Can I read it? Isn't that a bit extravagant? Okay, whatever. Can I go back to work? Uh, <laughs> uh, I... Now, you must learn to appreciate fine culture. I'm appreciating it, but... The first uh, um, copy once it is finished. I've got a problem with them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Yeah. Uh, a tedium we need to talk. Alas, you have marked fewer deaths than necessary. Mm -hmm. I know. A reprimand will be noted down. Let not your attention be diverted from the tasks at hand. Be attentive. We will see. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Zero money. <laughs> but I'm... Um, I want to see what's here today. Batten down the hatches. Tis a storm of sail. I have Anpu. Hmm. I'm just gonna buy this one. Ever been to the land of dunes, ye scallywag? There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the bowels of the World Eater rang in my ears. But I persisted. Dug until me fingers cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were secured. Ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal, it does. Oh, it was something here. Ah, um, but no, I want to... I want to be like this. Go to bed. Go to work. I already hate my job here. Read me. Grim. I will keep this short. Far too many humans are alive after yesterday. I'm suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing methodology. For the day, the last three humans coming from the facts have to die. The last three humans coming from the facts have to die? What does it mean? I'm counting on the courtesy of your judgment. I think I'm gonna get kicked out soon. Soon. 
the last the three humans coming from the facts have to die A biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out for following a fleeing cat. Are we saved? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. Oh, nice. Chicken flu vaccine shots now free thanks to a donation from a local business. Municipal garden and barely survives accidental self-poisoning. <laughs> Our educational standards help bring peaceful solutions to simmering conflicts. Fire the fire the firefighter heroically escapes burning bar only to be impaled by a forklift. Oops. <laughs> Shark numbers increasing after the death of famous restaurant owner coincidence. Huh. Crack of dawn, leaf blower dead after getting struck in the head with a letter in thrown by neighbor. <laughs> leaf flowers should leaf blowers should be banned to increase it to increase urban air quality, lower stress levels. Yeah, exactly. But what does this mean? The last three humans coming from the wax have to die. Anna von Wolfenstein, 48, judge. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the bringing of justice, but because of the political power the position brings. Okay. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. Oh, no. A little bit too much? This is not good. Umberto Primo, 38, automotive engineer. Umberto doesn't really have much to do these days at the manufacturing plant as automation has made car building much faster and more efficient mostly they look at computer screens checking for errors at some at home they love tinkering with their old 77 dio pulsar why should he die i mean there's no reason charlie gog 53, 56 fraud CEO. Charlie has been helping their brother Albert David hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and other fraudulent activities. They currently live in a mansion just outside of town. Yeah, well, it's time. Serena Masvidal, 74, electrician. An avid electronics enthusiast, Serena has continued working as an electrician well into their retirement, although their grandkids keep telling them to retire, especially due to bad eyesight. Their love for the job will always win. Hmm. Due to bad eyesight, I got a feeling this is going to be bad. The love of the job. I understand that, but why? It's like there's a reason why this is gonna get mentioned, right? Chad Anderson, 25, unemployed Me Too philosopher. Chad quit college several years ago and started making Me Too videos in their parents' basement. 80% of the content is about philosophy and 20% critical analysis of why they got dumped yet again. <laughs> Why they got dumped yet again? Why is this person so negative? But I like that 80% of the content, it's, it's philosophy. I like this. And if he likes it, why not? Chipo Ivo Solarin, 38, so sports nutritionist. Interesting. For years, Chipo has been interested in what effects different diets have on people. Lately, they have been working with the best of the best of national athletes, helping to improve their competitive performance. Yeah, why not? I don't know. I think too many people are surviving right now. Anto Antonioni Gramli, 31 game developer. Antonioni is known for making experimental games and drawing bending art pieces. Oh, I like this. Lately, they have experimented with paint based control schemes, facial fe feature based difficulty levels, psychedelic imagery, and incredibly addicting game mechanics. They are one small nudge away from making it big. This sounds something for. A museum. <laughs> I want to see this. And I think we're failing slowly. Doesn't matter. Let's see what Spade's gonna say. Grim, uh, why are you here? I just ended my day. I don't know. You put me here. Oh, right. The daily. Always in positions when I have important research to perform. I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us get on with it. Yep. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. 
Good job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Uh, hey, can I ask you some more questions, maybe? Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Maybe we can help each other. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Exactly. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. Oof. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. But what if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. True. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? I don't think he knows. Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. So no peaceful, eliminated paradise? No endless suffering, the grasp of cosmic horrors? What if the afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange monstrous gods? What is this answer? Hardly. Any other questions? Do you think mortals have some drive towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? Something of the like... Yes. They do often seem willing to throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. That doesn't stop art and literature from trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization. As humans feel the ever-present breath of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity. Carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. At least until all matter ceases to be. That moment sure can't come fast enough. When's that going to happen? Great, so art is pointless? No, I'm not gonna say that. Mm, any day now. Any other question? Ah, uh, actually, I got a, I got nothing. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. Those Grim answers are not seconds. helping me at all. Yeah, yeah, continue. <laughs> money, money, money. Oops, wrong direction. Tor, blimey, you're looting. All beware. Dum, da, da, da. Ye know why I was the scourge of the seas? Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wernum gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> All right, I just bought it, but I think I'm not going to equip it. It's so expensive, though. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm just going to do this. Go back. Wait, actually, I want to see. Oh, no, this is... No, 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 I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to take this. Do, 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 do. Actually, Pippi is doing something. Uh, Pippi? Pippi, try not to eat the wall. Nine. All right. <laughs> Always taking care. Instructions. <laughs> the assignment. An eldritch waft of air passed through my office earlier. Certainly a sign of disorder. We could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so I'll leave it up to you. And humans who seem suspicious have to die. You will figure it out, yes? Yeah, oh my god, this is a nice day then. Um, respected nutritionist are caught distributing illegal performance enhancers to athletes in their care. Nice. Suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. Game developer struggles with getting multi-sensory gaming experience to work. It mostly just feels like 
bugs crawling all over your skin. Oh. Check out my new video, 98 Reasons Mandras. Mandras was wrong. Local electrician electrocuted after cutting wrong wire. Oof. Oh, this is a bad way to die. Stunning graffiti sprayed all across Cosmopolis City. There is something uncanny about them. Critics note. Give me one second, Pippi is trying to eat the wall again. She's my little bug trying to eat anything. All right. Um, suspicious. Anna Isabel Sanchez, 22, supermodel. Anna spends all their time and energy on uh, on adhering to increasingly unreal beauty standards. After a gut-wrenchingly painful week of juice detox, they still got yelled at for being a fat cow. During moments of weakness, they have they even tend to believe these claims and accusations. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Kelsey Headley. 25 psychology student. Kelsey speci specialized in childhood psychology. They want to be a mother uh, and a kindergarten teacher. Their main hobbies are watching, criticizing films and swimming. Andres Ka Andres Candres, 30, graffiti artist, business person. During the day, Andres is a small-time business person, but secretly they are a naive, impressionistic painter. Their gravity is found on many walls, dying, drawn at night under the protection of anonymity. Anonymity. Andres suspect their art as mystical powers, so they try to do good by adding positive karma to nice houses, but it's unclear if they are fully in control of these powers. You know, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it that he is trying to be creative. So, let him survive. Jan Weber, 45, solder. Solder? You want a tiny thing fused to another tiny thing using an alloy of tin and lead? You come to Jan. Soldering is the cornerstone of building and maintaining any modern technological equipment, and Jan is the best at it. Kia Chadwick, 25 butcher. A butcher? Kia never thought they have to, they would have the stomach for chopping up meat. Turn out the trick was to dissociate and have sharp knives. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful when handling their product. On the weekends, Kia does a street circus act that focus on knife juggling. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful. You know, I'm I'm always trying to find a reason to kill people, but oh, you're also gonna survive. And I want to see what's gonna happen when everybody survives. I was thinking of killing her just to make a sign to people stop bullying her because this is gonna happen actually, and nobody's gonna die. I'm I'm really curious now. Oh, fade! I'm coming. Uh oh. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Poddington snoozing on the table. Spiteful jerk. Oh no, this again. Hey, kitty cat, you're so cute. Sweet, more freedom from the joke of the overlord. The old fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear piercing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Has Grim arrived yet? No. The cat grumbles at the phone receiver. Dear Lady Portington, why is it such a bother? The cat expresses herself with a nod. Poor meow. Indeed. The worries I have to process every single day. Truly, it wearies me. He, he doesn't know I'm here, so I can listen a bit, maybe? And now to summon such a... Everything would be better without the endless hassle. Excuse me, I'm here for my daily... <clears throat> Cough politely. I'm just gonna listen. The cat meows softly. Oh, Grim. I am most disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. <laughs> Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. <laughs> I hope you realize the implications. For the world. And for yourself. I'm sorry, I messed up. You can't force me to do this. I refuse. It was an accident. Hello? 
grim? You are silent? You have nothing to say? Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Sure. This will be marked down as your second warning. Oh. There will not be many more. Okay, no, that's not at all. I'm right here, hello. Good night, Grim. Oh, he's ignoring me now. Walking on a tightrope, prone to falling at any moment. See that you do not. What's gonna happen when I'm just failing again? I don't know how many days are left. Oh god. There's so many endings, it feels like. Oh, the bar is there? You're such a scoundrel. Ew. There should be a bounty on your head. 700. I'm poor, dude. I need money again. Oh! Wait. There w I forgot to read the text here, actually. Why seriously terror inducing this visage? But then again, who wouldn't want to look like an antediluvian monstrosity? Besides, tentacles are extremely useful in practical. They're extremely disgusting. All right, I'm going to talk to you first. Why, if it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eye? Yeah, sure. Are you still wearing the same attire from before? Oh, gross, it's been ages. I just think my current look really suits me. Oh, yeah, I could use some more new clothes. Uh, but the stuff over at more time is so expensive. Yeah, because I'm not doing the orders. Um, oh, I like it. This lack of transformation, no. It does not suit you. Hey. I've got just the thing to help you out. Something I've been holding for a special case. A drink. She wants to... She just wants to give me drinks. A cool visage to make your day. Oh, it's called it visage. Okay, I'm always... Uh, I was always saying this in French. Visage. Crisis averted. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? I've been a meticulous professional. Pretty good. Same as usual. Don't I still have trouble deciding. Mostly I'm confused. About how you feel about the whole thing? Doubts about the power bestowed into your hands and how you affect so many lives every single day? Makes me uneasy. Could I be sure my choices have the correct results? I'm fine with what I'm given. I have to do what I'm told. I was born for this. No, sometimes the tasks get a bit confusing. Isn't this place venerable and they know what they're doing? Hmm. Like there's a tea of arbitrary design in the darkness <laughs> heckin scary one ought to heat instincts in collaboration with reason sounds twice as powerful to me yeah yeah ah but what do i know i'm just the barkeep so what can i get you i'll be going now oh, i don't have little reaper money for drinks little reaper um but i wonder What's gonna happen with different d drinks? Who are you? Damn, stranger. Your makeup skills are out of this world. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you here before. Let me guess. You're in the... Hmm. Human department, right? How do you know? I mean, the dark circles, the vibe like you haven't slept for a thousand years. Yeah, it's been rough. Is that that obvious? I'm sleeping just fine. It is. At least for me. For you see, I'm also in the human department. Okay. Another human reaper? I've been dying to meet one for ages. I can also tell by those dark circles. How do you like it here? But you don't look tired at all. Hmm. I don't know. You. She doesn't have a face. <laughs> work is work, I guess. So... I figure you've been here a while by now. How do you feel about the work we do? I love making humans miserable. No. I wish people didn't have to suffer because of me. Meh. Work is work. Sucks really bad. I hate it. I actually feel like I should head back to work right now. Bye. No. Work, work right. is work. I've heard some spawns complain about insane working hours. But they spend all day on their phones. Doom scrolling on Cocker or whatever that dumb app is called. I haven't opened it in years. What's Cocker? I haven't missed much. You don't read them in years. Oh, that's the news app. No. I mean, I used to. But nothing interesting ever happened. 
I'm always reading. The instructions are the same every day anyway. Kill all door-to-door -door salespeople. And what do I see in the app? The door-to-door -door salespeople died. Great. So very engaging. And that's followed by the stories of downright horrible things happening everywhere. No thanks. Ever thought of asking fate about your never changing instructions? What do you mean? My choices affect the world all the time. I get different instructions every day. I think I have to mute myself a second because of the parties. Do they, though? Do they really? Or is it an illusion? Huh. <laughs> I've seen the boss, like, once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of fate's grandiose plan. The equilibrium. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. Ever thought of asking Fate about your new changing instructions? What do you mean by choices affect the world all the time? Huh. I've seen the boss, like, once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of Fate's grandiose plan. The equilibrium. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. Hmm. I get different instructions every day. Um, congratulations? Should I just repeat myself? Um, okay. congratulations? Do they, though? Do they really? I just do what fate tells me to. The decisions are not mine to make. Have you ever heard the inspiring story of Scullifus? I'm guessing you haven't, since it happened way back when we still used rubber stamps instead of markers. Okay, so Scullifus spent all day every day stamping profiles to live or die. They got a grandiose case of carpal tunnel from all that stamping, but still they kept on going. Every day they'd receive a heap of new profiles, which were basically the same as the ones they'd stamped the day before. Almost as if powering through the carpal tunnel wasn't making any difference. Almost as if it wasn't worth it. In any case, they kept going. Kept on stamping. Because they had to. Because when you give up, the cosmos, that meaningless entropy, it w And I'm never gonna let that happen. Even if it means doing the exact same thing, day in, day out. So that's it? That's inspirational story? That's it, stranger. It inspires me to wake up every day. Besides, as long as the coins keep coming, can we really complain? You should definitely complain, though. I think it's time you start making your own choices. Oh, good luck with whatever you're doing. Oh. You mean, what? Ignore my instructions? Won't that get me, like, instantly fired? Yes, but your life would be more fun. I don't know. Why am I, what am I saying? Good point. Maybe just stick... Hmm. Am I going to kill her now? Hmm. I could start sparing some of these door-to-door -door salespeople, maybe. No, you can't you can kill them, but the rest, you can't just spare them. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I'll do it. <gasps> oh my god, I've got a bad influence. Time for some of these salespeople to live at last. They seem harmless enough. Oh god. Good luck. I just give you amazing free advice. You're welcome. Oh, you're getting it. Not sagely. Good luck. You're a real <laughs> special individual. You know that, right? Mm, thank you, thank you. I'm off to sow some chaos. See you later. Alligator. I hope. <laughs> I'm also hoping. Okay, what is this? Guy saying, Look at that. It's a hatchling. I guess they let all sorts work here nowadays. The assemblage must be decaying. Yet one must welcome the dregs, one must. What brings you to Florian the Eradicator? Just trying to meet new people. I like your staff, Florian. Why are you called the Eradicator? 
You sound like you pump his ass. I'm that efficient in bringing annihilation to the herd. One fell swoop, judgment has arrived. Oh, if only I could hear them wail and weep, cursing the injustice of a cold grave. Not that you would understand. Still, fate expects us to be polite to one's colleagues because it advances synergy and improves long-term morale. I suppose I must then do my best to enlighten you on whatever matters are bothering you today. To be honest, I think he likes to listen to him th himself. What do you think of fate? You're another Reaper who works in the office? You must really like the sound of your... <laughs> you must really listen... <laughs> That's what I was. That's basically what I was thinking. A capable bureaucrat, but lately seems to be losing his way. Too much faffing around with pointless minutia, and the fondness for regulations. I've always said we should be able to mark people to death more freely, but no, always with these limitations. I. Am the best and brightest okay. of the bunch when I aim for All right. the jugular. I don't like him. I do not miss. With blood and guts, I will paint my magnum opus on the canvas of cosmos. You're so avant-garde. What are you even talking about? All flesh is temporary. We here provide the herd with an escape from their meat prison. It is called salvation or at least the closest thing they'll ever get are you implying you mark people to death all the time do you ever do you ever think of the consequences what does fate think about your grand ideas i don't get to meet the boss often surprising as that may be fate doesn't chat with reapers all the time to be honest it feels like he's chatting with me all the time in the order of things, we are beneath him, as the humans are beneath us. I just make sure to enjoy every slash and stab. Take pride in a successful exit. For that is what we are born to do. Yes, we Deathbringers all have to die. All have to die eventually when it's time. So what's stopping you from ma marking everyone? Hmm. Hmm. Sooner or later, what's the difference if the result is the same? An end to their futile existence, to their deceitful ways. Humans are pretense and artifice forever causing misery to each other. My way would bring less pain for all. Ciao, little hatchling. Lessons learned, off you go. The talks are here, very interesting, but it's not helping at all. Hey again, what can I get you? Hmm. Any thoughts on Florian? I think it just to confuse me more. That one? Heck. What can I say that you won't glean on your own? They try to act all suave on the surface, but truth be told, they're a proper jerk. At least when it comes to the job. Can't say I trust their judgment too much. They don't seem responsible. You'd think your profession needed conscientious workers, right? But don't take this the wrong way. I don't often disparage patrons of the den. We have here a shared experience. Here's to hoping they won't cause some sort of a major blunder. What else you got in mind? I'll be going now. Au revoir, little, little reaper. reaper. Au revoir. Do -do -do -do. Did we check the shop, by the way? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now I want to get the, the calendar. Maybe it's going to help me. By Annals of Transcience. Transcience? 
transcends? Oh my god, my English. We scoured nigh every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchant men for it. Cause turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals worked on any year. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes. Also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations. And all the name days. <laughs> I finally procured it from an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Day 21. Continue. It's very cold. When did that happen? Can you feel cold? It's not that cold. You're like your smart mirror. Can you even feel cold? I, I don't think so. Just a philosophical question. Can you? <laughs> Does your hand at the mouse not feel the chill? <laughs> it's freezing. Everything halting to a standstill. Before... Before what? Stop being so dramatic. It's like you're trying to tell me something. Astute, Grand Reaper. You're a wealth of insight. While the rest freeze in ignorance, unable to be saved. Maybe in a new lifetime. Doubloons will get ye anything, mate. Your attention is required. I have been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you will handle it, as usual. Quote over the day, five humans have to die. One human must be spared. This is of utmost importance. P.S. Do be careful to let the right person live. Do what you do best. Fate. The problem is, uh, is actually we already got two strikes. So, um, yeah. We should maybe not forget about this. I want to see different endings though. But I want to get this first. X model influencer draws ex ex attention to harmful expectations in the fashion business. Local technician uh, introduces new exciting soldering techniques that may change the whole world. Electrical substation burns down after gravity of candles is found on the walls. And market experts warn against investing in yet coins. <laughs> <laughs> get coin all right so we only have just um a bit more than one week left uh five humans have to die one one human must be spared this is of m utmost importance how do i know this to be to be careful to let the right person live can i see this somewhere oh, holy shit he's a kidnapper jerry moral 49 kidnapper jerry's a creepy kidnapper there's no way around that their latest plan is ambling near stadiums wearing cute mascot outfit and swiping kids who want to take a photo it hasn't really worked thus far because of the crowds but when it will we demand a substantial ransom okay it feels like this person needs to die it's i mean what is this position investor editor in chief genesis okay i'm still curious lizzie reed 31 anthropologist alicia is a renowned anthropologist famous for their photographs of island communities that sounds perfect some of their noted works include kinu how many colors can a skirt have new old land is it really that new channels gaskar a gateway to overeating at home, they like to spend in their garden, positioning knee-high indigenous stone stages between her patches. I think you can... Oh, wait. One... Okay, this person can definitely die, right? Yeah. 
You're gonna die? Because I just forgot again. All right. Hmm. Who am I gonna spare? Firizi Williams, 40 investor. Firizi is an avid investment enthusiast spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying and selling stocks randomly. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Yitcoin. Hmm. Yitcoin. Even though we had the message like, uh, what was it again? Express warn against investing in Yitcoin. And that person is trying to convince. I know it's harsh just to decide because of it, but yeah. <laughs> Amanda Samir, 51, editor in chief. Before Amanda took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned the paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they have used they've used the paper to suppress rumors about themselves. I see. Wait, isn't this one? No, it's just crown news. Okay, signs today. Nija Basra. Nija Basra, 34, geneticist. Nija secretly researching the genetical combining of plants and animals. Okay. In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears, they also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hatch instead of spines. So far, the research has been costly, but they believe it's for a greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. What? Plastic surgeon adult film <laughs> Oh my god, that's a creepy face. Blair Pl Presley, you're looking very creepy. 50. Blair considers their job as a doctor more a hobby. They enjoy traveling to various foreign lands and shooting sh short films. Given their regular travel agenda, they have three wives in three different countries. I really don't mind just killing him. I really don't mind. <laughs> um, uh, so far, I think she's the one who's going to survive. I think she's going to survive. Yeah, we get it. Then we're done with this. Do you want to confirm? Yes, yes. Do -do 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 -do. As you look around the office, you see Lady Poddington lounging supine on the table. The old fashioned phone again rings right as you settle in. The familiar, if, if grainy voice can be heard. Grim. Ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Mm-hmm. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Okay, but... Okay. Yes, you expect your daily summary. But I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, off you go. And that's it? Just more important. Money, money, money. Da -da -da -da. What do we Yo have today? What can old Mortimer provide you with today? Mm, the cactus, most brutal of the plants. Actually, it's expensive, but why not? I could also buy this one. Wait, what did it say? The lithium obliviator is used to remove grievous mistakes, meaning it erases whichever marks you made on a proper own one use only. Avast, I mean, we can this try. Tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. <laughs> I just want to buy the bow. It's so cute. But the cactus is just something I can see on my desk every time. All the time. Cactus Face time. your eyes upon this spiky boy. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of cacti. Just to get me phalanges on one of these. Finally unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. 
you never see it move. But boy, does it get around. <laughs> <laughs> mm. If I'm just gonna buy this, then I'm gonna be so poor. Nah. Let's start the day. Mine is 1,200. Oof. Where is it even? Ah, it's here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my desk is getting full here. Let's read the news. Uh, managing editor of the Daily Moon drowns after caught stalking Harry Singh, offspring of local crime boss. Andan Mas gets struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Stadium officials confused. Local photographer dissolves a decade-old dispute between neighbors by baking a cake. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. So one week left. Today is a s today is simple, Grim. It is as if a great calmness has enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths for today. Could have heard the day two humans humans have to die. New discoveries await fate. This is doable, just two, just the half, right? Ezra Gabriel, 40 minister. Ezra is the minister of farming, agri and aquaculture, appointed to this position by the Queen cabinet for their past loyalty. Thing is, they have no idea how to run this ministry or any author, for that matter, as they keep getting political appointments only through the favors of their old friends and drinking mates. Uh, okay, this is really, really bad. Euro Pastille, 37, recruiter. Europe is a top gun at many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from super juices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their every recruitment pitch with, it's not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing in dozens of naive people every- Oh my god, you also need to die. Oh. Levi Schaefer, 35 defense contractor. Levi sells weapons to anyone in need of them. Oh my god. The biggest customer, of course, is the military. They have sent lobbyists into government to make sure there is always a war going on somewhere. Holy shit. Okay. This is nothing against the pyramid scheme. However, their grandparents' last wish was for Levi to protect the forests of their homeland, for which Levi has been constantly funneling money. But this is not the right way, dear Levi. Levi. I, I really don't like this and you have to die. I know. We need to protect the forest, but this is really bad. <laughs> Marianne St. John, St. John, 26, office assistant. Marianne works at a financial technology startup. The boss likes them because Marianne always managed to organize fun team events on a non-existent budget. When at home, they dream of royalty on a white steed sweeping them off their feet while binge-watching environmental documentaries on MeTube. They love knitting and listening to the band Post Fornication Pipes. You can, you can live. I really don't mind, but... This is word political. This, of course, this is very annoying. But I don't like this one here. They have no idea what they're doing. You have no right to be here. And you're gonna live, and we're done with today. Grim. Welcome back. Oh, you're back. How was your break? No, seriously, why can't I just get a vacation? Oh, you're back. I am. Mm hmm Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. <laughs> At least someone seems to be up to their task. Yeah. Oh, uh, whatever. So, have I found any somehow? What's with the attitude? What is, what is going on? Why are you so grumpy? You? No, Grim. You have not. Why am I livid? <laughs> because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to remind me that taking sudden leave is detrimental to our aspiration. I see. Because they thought to admonish me for taking a couple of days to perform important research. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes now how was it <laughs> nothing in life is more certain than i have no idea sugar and spice the rainbows and puppies blood and guts beeps and boops death and texas <laughs> haven't heard anything of like of the like now 
Sugar and spice? No, no. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the one is also what very else important. Would it be? Sugar and spice. Either way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do my job. Kind of like you to. I kind of like you do to me every day. Yeah. I, yeah? Uh, Think about it. <laughs> it is rather irritating, is it not? Ah, uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. Nighty. I think we checked the a uh, shop right at the beginning. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes. <laughs> For Grim. My modest excuses, Grim. Right, the situation is that everything got all jumbled up in our fax delivery system. You should listen to your gut today. <laughs> your gut, yes. Because you are, you know, a skeleton. <laughs> Quote over the day, go with the flow. Ooh, to toodles, say toodles. Um, sure, I like this one. Number of armed conflicts decreasing, experts say. Rumors of match fixing in the boxing scene garner interest from investigators and the visitor in the visionary atom. Read the 10 best science fiction novels from the early atomic age. We've got so many today. What is this name? Yernalda Pev? 52 Morg assistant? No one truly knows how to fall from grace of Yernaldo began. Once upon they lived a heroic life, so it is sad, but such a grand deeds are now a thing of the past. These days they work as a po post middle age assistant at a morgue. What is a morgue actually? I have to quickly check this. A morgue. Oh, okay. And Leichenschaus. Ah, okay. No wonder once upon they looked at her like so it's sad, but such grand deeds are now a thing of the past. These days they work as a It's nothing bad, right? It's nothing bad. You can live. We're going with the flow. Citra Pascal 23 cashier. Citra takes all the shifts at the coffee shop they are physically able to take, so they could afford to buy deluxe cat food for their five cats. Ooh, it's hard to remove all that cat for before uh, coming to work, but so far, it seems they haven't given any customer allergic reactions. It's it's fine. It's your life. You can do you can do that if you are happy. If it that if that makes you happy, Rosalind Potter, 60, 65 gardener. Rosalind's favorite plant is the common grass, which they implant where they work. No flowers, no trees, no bushes, only grass as far as the eye can see. The lack of biodiversity in these gardens is seriously affecting local bee population. Then you have to die. This is a no go. Reman. Scandlin, 31, Pog, Pugilis, what is this? Reman stings like a scorpion and floats like a Stendelian seed. A true working class hero with a respectable career of 25 wins and zero losses. They are known for a relentless fighting style that incorporates exceptional dodging capabil capabilities. Yet lately it's been growing hard to get me fights and money is getting tight. What is a pugilist? Today, I have to look up a lot of words, it feels like. Pew. Ah, I'm boxer. Okay. Why should he die? You can live. Naira Naravilli, 24 occultist. Oof. Na Naira is a loyal member of a group who devotes themselves to a forest spirit. They believe that both the spirit and the tree are from the future. A future as the mighty stout oak seems to be a lot older than the rest of the forest. Naira enjoys nature but isn't that keen on the ritualistic branch whipping which seems to be oddly important to their leader. I mean you can also survive. Then we've got Chiara Lopez, 29, attorney. Chiara is still 29, but already a hot shot lawyer. They're most famous for winning a case and getting the victim's family to pay damages to drunk drivers who killed their son. They will always find a loophole and present the case very convincingly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I really don't care. Then you have to die. Anatoly Azarov, 25, track and field athlete. 
Anatoly once jumped across a moving car and started doing sports to save their poverty-stricken parents and siblings from homelessness. He succeeded and now they are trying to find love in the lonely world of high-level professional athletes. So far we only killed one person. Benazir Al Ram, 49, nuclear physicist. Physicist. Oh my god, this word. Benazi was inspired to study nuclear physics by old science fiction novel. Physicist. Now I get it. Uh, science fiction novels. Their original plan was to build some sort of an anatomic death ray, as seen you know, on their favorite novel, which, less never went anywhere. But by that time, they'd become an accomplished and respected physicist. Then you should live. And then we've got Sumika Kito. Weird Rangers, Mika leads a highly trained anti-poaching team. The number of poaching incidents was greatly reduced when Sumika got approved to use electric electric weapons and traps against the poachers. Sumika lives right on the edge of the forest with their family. Anti-poaching team. Is this... So basically she's protecting the animals? I have to look up. Do, do, do. So she is just, she's helping with the wildlife, right? Yep. Then she sh definitely should survive. We only actually killed one person. No, two people. Actually, this is my counter. Then we're done with today. <gasps> Excited to hear what fate's gonna say. Too many people are surviving. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? <laughs> You've been clicking around for quite a while. Yeah, bit. Uh, I don't understand clicking and what. <laughs> no, my hands are fine. Ah, you have the fortitude to keep on with the grind until the very end. Must be why fate chose you instead of all the other candidates. Lost souls. This is super weird. Are you talking to someone else? <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Akari. This is so super weird because she's constantly breaking the fourth wall. No weirder than your death. At least that got you here. To the office, where you belong. Thank you, thank you. Actually, to fate. Grim, welcome. You know. Pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. What's the result so far? I think they're important and meaningful. I'm kind of busy right now, so can we can skip this? No, no, but no. Is it enough? Listen, is death really such a bad thing? It would be better for everyone. In fact, do these humans even truly exist? Their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome. It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. Go on, I'll hear you out. The uh, sounds accurate this thus far. I'm really not here for this. Um, I'm hearing you out. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Stars explode, galaxies form, or get torn apart. There are departments even for these events. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. I'm not sure that's fully accurate. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences. Millions upon billions of them. Everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale. Yet also exceedingly similar. Copying each other. Living through similar events with similar basic reactions. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot and will not even experience or True. perceive, ever. Are we gonna still listening? 
But we could help them experience these things. I'm still gonna their listen. Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grim? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it... <laughs> I'm not gonna take sugar and spice again. Does it make a sound? Good. Yes. Imagine that. Life reduced only to some human vicinity. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them. To imagine their presence to be paramount. The tree does not only sound, it has been sounding a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It has lived a life. None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. I got through the entire round. Is there a price? No. I don't really agree with what you said. No. Um, let's gonna take this. much yet to learn. Oh, okay. Then. Oops. Mighty, tis an utmost pleasure to see you again. Hmm, what could we buy? We got a bit of money again, but burn unholy. It's it's actually cheap. Hmm. I'm gonna buy this. Smokes are deadly, you know. Yeah, yeah. A curse fouler than any I ever met. Not to me wildest dreams could I rob so many lives. Tis gazing down the length of an infinite tobacco stick. Inching ever closer to the end. An ancient shaman gifted me this pack after I rescued their child from the rabid coyotes. Guess they weren't pleased with me good deed. Assume this visage and forever be reminded of the mortality of all. Used to belong to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day, the rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then Mate Brew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. Good question. <laughs> so we're poor again. Would I've got something here? I had no idea that I can also switch this one. Oh no, that's not true. I think I'm gonna stick to that. What did I buy again? My desk is so full. Oh, the coin. Hmm. I never could decide things on my own. <laughs> All right. The return of the bees brings a bountiful apple harvest. That's nice. Unbeatable Riemann, Scanlon, finally uh, toppled. They decided to retire their open a box in school. Multi medalist Edith. Catholic after inspiring millions retires and announces plans to act as an angel investor okay and nuclear physicist and researching nuclear drive technology for outer space exploration medical worker escapes sudden death by mysterious means cruel irony hotshot lawyer Ky Kiara Lopez d dead in a hit and run accident caused by same drunk driver they have to save <laughs> <laughs> and you must take cool turns into an environmental group and attack out the deadly pasty coffee shop patron goes into anaphylic oh my god anaphylactic sh shock after investing cat here with cake oh oh no oh god i'm so sorry 
Threats of new anti-corporate protests on Ball Street as supporters gather their forces and hostile language becoming more prevalent in politics as fake news blame for literally everything. Hmm. Open me. Grim. The humans have given up most of their civil liberties all across the globe. Who would have thought it would be so voluntary as if they could be co coerced to do anything for humans have to die. Keep up the good work. I hope the birds are not too loud. Nora Sophia Eto, 39, white collar criminal. Nora turned to regular embezzlement after their multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty products and cognitive enhancers were just not selling all this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their child in decent school. Nora films claymation short, shorts in their spare time. Hmm. I don't know yet. It seems okay so far. Mart Martin Peldick, 37, grassroots activist. Mart Martin used to be a compassionate human being until they got served the wrong order in a diner that they loved. After that, they decided they needed to find a place to vent their anger and turn to politics. They are currently leading the Nationalist People's Welfare Organization, hoping to end equ equality between people once and for all. What? This is not good. Why sh should you want this? Why do you want that? Okay. Kim Soo Yeon, 33, bank teller. Kim has, a l has lived through three, three bank robberies. Sick and tired of, all, of it always happening. They decided to join the robbers on the fourth attempt. They were last seen trying to skip the count. Oh. <laughs> what? Grand Sack, 33, gymnast. The actual organizer of the notorious and worldwide anti corporate protests occupy Ball Street. <laughs> Grant takes activism to a whole new level. They demand corporations and governments to take action against the growing inequality crisis. They also love dogs and take their pets with them to their protests. You can lift. Ultra McGrath, 66, alchemist. After decades of unsuccessful attempts at turning mercury into gold, Ultra decided to utilize their alchemy, alchemy talents in healthcare. They carefully mixed together various chlorine and sulfur containing compounds and selling it as a cure for everything. <sighs> Why are you doing this? Why? Just, just why? Okay, w we need three more. And I think I got, I got it here. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. And you're gonna live. And we're done with today. If I ever return to the seas, I'd have ye on me crew anytime. Too poor, but maybe we can buy it after. After visiting fate, we're getting 400 coins. Ah, the beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass, every ray of light. It is a captivating day, is it not, Grim? Mm, no, not really. If something bad is going on in the world, I guess so. I don't really care either, in a way. Nah. Indeed. Alas, transformations often require sacrifices. Do you agree? Uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. What about my daily reviews? Well, I'm not pleased with all of this. What am I supposed to do now? Hmm. Try harder, Grim. Perhaps you can dig yourself out of this... <laughs> Work awaits, Grim. Get to it. I trust you to make the correct choices. Trust me. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time.
Wait, I'm getting zero? Why? Unlucky. What ho, Grim? The monocle doors, demon empires facing severe difficulties and governing and also feeding itself. Humans who are deemed useless are being repurposed as food. Ingenious. Oh, six people have to die. <laughs> oh, steal yourself, fate. Six people. Another protest against corporate greed takes place on Ball Street. Well known gymnast retires on professional sport to focus on professional protesting. Prominent political activist found dead in home ab apartment in suspected case of auto erotic as um, asphyxiation. Hate speech on the rise as extremist grassroots organiza organization taking over by an e even more draconian leader. Bank robber arrested over a neighboring altern dies as shipping, bring, bringing them home sinks in a storm. That's so unlucky. Four yet to be identified people arrested in a major embezzlement scandal related to Transglobal Inc. Alchemists found suffocated in their own lab. Hmm. Six people. And we've got seven. Only one person can survive. Mark F. Plier, 31, engineer, aspiring film director. Mark or originates, originates from the island of Ayaria, but moved to Cosmopolis City as at a young young age. They studied engineering at the Polytechnical Institute, then started a side career as a YouTuber, mostly videos about engineering, where they've gained a more considerable following. Main, mainly, they uh, aspire towards becoming a film director. That sounds really nice. I like this. Jerome K. Nelson, 58, poultry farmer. Jerome loves birds. They started an egg farm several decades ago, but when the business was not going well, they had to also start settling, selling the meat, which is emotionally very hard for Jerome. Oh no. They hold a little funeral for every bird, which includes include little speeches and a bit of crying. <laughs> oh my god, this is too cute. He needs to survive. Damon Vasalka, 30, district attorney. Damon is a massively corrupt law enforcement official. Uh, uh, he's gonna die. They do their job effectively, but also engage in bribery and nepotism. They also run a very successful smuggling ring that provides weapons and live ammunition to developing countries. They have a, uh, they have a rescue cat who they love very much and name them Mooch. You are gonna die. Easy clap. Mahala Ayi, 34, sous chef. Mahala is a rising star in the culinary world. Vicariously executing the hot chefs uh, with will with an iron fist and a brass mouth. The workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Lionel Jet, 24, fast food chef. Lionel is a burger loving person. Lionel loves making them and eating them. Nothing will keep them more happy than having the chance to keep on running their little burger jo joint at the corner of Ball Street. <laughs> How our lack of purchasing power in a government subs subs subsidized nutritious sludge factories threaten to put fast food out of business. Sammy McKinley, 39, psychiatrist. Sammy has been prominent figurehead in the psychiatric academia after receiving their doctorate. They enjoy widespread success with their theory of baseline happiness world governments remain exact skeptical however in their later time sammy enjoys growing and nurturing various trees in their backyard <laughs> Who's sh who should survive kaido and Sun, 30 unemployed hipster kaido ca for short probably wishes they would have been born into the renaissance society as they have many skills that are simply useless in today's world okay Self-proclaimed hipsters, he attempts to work odd jobs where they can. Nonetheless, uh, they are currently homeless and their only sustenance comes from dumpster living. You're not appreciating your life! You're not appreciating it! Oh my god, six human needs to die. <sighs> I don't want to get a strike, I want to get- I want to see the ending. This is extremely hard. The business was not going well, but 
if we're gonna kill him, then we're also helping him, right? I'm a bit biased, but because of the birds, not gonna lie. Well, he's younger. Oh my god, I can't decide. I wish I could just ask the chat now. Dude, he got a heart. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Everyone is gonna die now. I think we're done. Oh my god, I don't like this day. I don't like it. And I killed this innocent person. There are so many innocent people. Da -da -da -da. How many times have we met? I lost all count. <laughs> Quite a few times. Psst. Hey, what, pray tell, happened to the world? I did. I'm a failure. The humans deserve what's coming. What's coming for them? I don't know. Sure you do. It's the culmination of all your choices. I guess so. Do you know the story of the Wyvern and the Prince Consort? Nope. Spare me of you ramblings or a voice in my head, no. Of course you do. A young, quick-witted Prince Consort was once kidnapped by a Wyvern. Using their gift of charm, they tried to alter the ways of the Wyvern in order to save their lands. Soon, the Beast and the Prince found resonating ideas and ambitions. They molded the land in rather inept ways, whilst thwarting attempts of rescue by the queen. Then the wyvern, tired of the desolation, ate the prince and flew away. Am I the prince? Am I the wyvern? Am I the queen? Yes. I knew it. You've been answering. Would I have answered that to any of those? Yes. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few, as long as you learn the lesson. We are thankful of our time together, even as it's quickly running out. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Grim. I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Okay. Should my prose be more experimental? <laughs> or should I stick to traditional narrative techniques? What are you in about? Haven't you seen what's happening in the world? Experimental for sure. I think he really doesn't care. I prefer conventional narratives. I would say experimental. But I also want to talk about this. Mm, no, not really. I am <laughs> the most occupied. I see. Oh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. My, so much chaos. Pain and suffering are off the charts. A dystopian monoculture enforced by Frolix Productions, the only remaining Ultra Corporation. Ah, it will not last long. Nearly all resources have already been wasted. Humans turned into food paste to feed the starving affluent, into batteries to power the distraction complexes. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. I can't seem to make a difference. What's going on in the world just keeps getting worse. I thought you, your rules were supposed to stop, stop this. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you followed them properly <laughs> to the letter? Yes. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's unclear. I don't think no is an answer everyone would pick. Mm. Uh, what is done is done. True. 
These are the consequences you must mm. live with while you still live. <laughs> Off to work, Grim. Certainly, hmm. you have no time to waste now. Yeah, I know. Oh no. At least I can buy something for myself, huh? Shopping. Shopping time. I want to get well, the fidget spinner. Down, lad. Tis the arcane fippledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found its scale in a tower. Used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. <laughs> Spin it to the limit. Funny. Is it ever going to sp stop? Oh no, stop! Okay. <laughs> Unknown individual found dead in trash can as host of dumpster driving blood meets the unlikely demise. Kaspopoli's own sweetheart district attorney presumed dead in car bomb attack. Diseases run rampant and claim lives as pharmaceutical companies establish chokehold on available medicine. Last issue printed and website soon to close as collapse of monetary system crushes society. Tragic death of Sushav. Two different types of poison, poison found in the body. Cause of death, hypothermia due to being locked in the freezer. Oh my god. Grim Bale. I hope you read this post haste. A dystopia. Look out the window, Grim. This is what the humans have created for themselves. An utter wasteland of nothingness and insanity. Oh god. Humans have to die. Keep up the good work. Okay. Roman Chakraborty. 56. Tax collector. Roma Romain. Sorry. Is an extremely menacing person. They used to be an enforcer for a loan shark and constantly look like they're going to break any and all kneecaps in the vicinity. This makes their tax collecting job rather easy. Okay. <laughs> Ryo Kabayashi, 35, politician. He has been aggressively advocating for a few radical policy which completely eliminates all taxes. Any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what did taxes ever, ever do for us anyway? Taxes are important. Alabaster Marston, 42, dystopian lunatic. Alabaster has completely lost it. They lost all of their material possessions with the world falling apart along with their mind. Now they roam around the ruins of Cosmopolis City in their spike diesel truck imitating the pirate legend mad that whoever gets in their way alabaster judges whether they will live or die based on the flip of a coin <laughs> this is everything is just bad but this is not gonna work you can't just eliminate Okay, this one is done. They used to be an enforcer of a loan shark. Yeah, this is very hard, but we're gonna do this. Everything is done. Done. What's going on with the world? It's going down. Mm, hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there in the wild? Well, it just probably spiraling out of control. Nothing much going on. It's going fine to do fine. No promise what's ever fine. <laughs> nah, it's spiraling out of control, Don't actually. Unconstrained. 
with nothing to stop it. Seems a terrible power, yes? Minds and personalities erased. People reduced to look like mindless drones consuming the entertainment of Throix. Oh, that looks like a nerve stapler. My, my, it truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. Yeah, pretty bad stuff. I feel like a total failure. Yeah, I can still find a way. Mm-hmm, the worst. Well, I do hope you will manage. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. Good night. Ever wonder if there's a way to do things differently? Uh, so disgusting. I'm glad I can't buy it. Ew. Ew. I wonder if we ever gonna go back to the bar again. Don't we have a bar? The bar. Oh no, the bar is here. Maybe after work. Open me. Apocalypse now. Unbeknownst the, the, to themselves, human society was, has finally collapsed. Whatever novelty and humanity was left in the world is now swiftly fading. The few remaining humans have to die. Happy end, fate. <laughs> what? I only have two left? Listen in on 98.3 and shake your leather pants to sweet tunes on Power Maroon. 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 Radio. What is going on with the birds? Check it. Brute takes down three harassers like it's nothing. Last transmission, folks. No more water. See you all on the other side. I've got goosebumps. What ha what's happening? The few remaining humans have to die. Henry Cavalier. 44, a cleric. Henry is a devoted member of their church with a weakness for pastries and crime novels. Ever since reading a book about crafty monks at a secluded monastery, they have dreamt of saving their family using fancy deductive abilities. Little do they know, this exact opportunity will soon present itself. I mean, we have no option. I mean, I could just ignore it as well. Into Paul Van Art, 31, self-proclaimed survivalist. After watching thousands of hours of survival tutorials, Interpol was well prepared for the complete and utter collapse of society. Until they run out of canned food, they are currently holed up in an apocalypse shelter, hiding from the struggling AI-controlled flesh collectors. They pass the time by binge-watching ancient TV shows. What is this world? Did I really do this with my decisions? Is this part of the game? What's gonna happen if she's gonna survive? Because there is also another day. I want to see what's going to happen on the last day then. But if this, the, the few remaining humans. What's going to happen next? Oh my god. So this is the fate? You've done well, Grand Reaper. Really? Thank you, thank you. We both know that's not true. Yeah wasn't believable at all no we lack the imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent so what comes next stop but i don't think i did anything wrong you're the chatty ones who tell me how to fix it just leave me be i'm enough trouble as it Too as is unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation hop over to a different reality and do better that'd really be something I'm uncomfortable with the idea of multiple dimensions. Right, I'll just push my universe undo button. If such a button hmm. existed, it'd obviously be called like <laughs> New World Plus. I like Go this. Go on, oddball. Nothing else to wait for. Fine, it's fine. I don't think it, this is fine. I don't even know what to do. What to think now? Me neither. Sometimes that's the best we can do. We've reached the end. In general, I mean. 
Not with us. We will never leave you. As long as there is a you, there will be us. Until the next round. I see. Hmm. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. Let's just get this over with. No, nothing left. What an utter catastrophe. An immaculate execution. The work of an artist. An artist? From imaginative spirits to All right. mindless automatons. Then ground to dust by their malicious overlords when crisis finally struck. A swan song for those who forgot how to dream and improve, and gave themselves to lethargic mediocrity. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. Uh, cool. I'm able to see how that is more crucial. Gods, how did I screw up so badly? So when I did I get to read it... We are talking of exceptional art, my friend. A visionary breakthrough. Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. So, that's the thing. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Oh, the bar is open now. Time's running out. Oh, what's this? Grim Cape. Ah, this dark cape is a classic attire for any Grim Deeds. It's pleasantly warm while offering protection against the wind and rain, which you won't actually need as you'll always be stuck at the office. All right, too poor. Oh, who's this? What ho, mighty. Oh! At last we meet here, the finest tavern in all the lands. So it's our last day. You know. I'm reminded of the time me and me crew were sailing around the Cape of Ill Omen. I'm listening with baity breath. Oh no, no more pirate tales. Actually, I wanted to ask you a few questions. And corresponding to the name, a mighty storm or a brewer right on the horizon. Shook our ship to and fro. Many of me mates swept into the icy depths of the unforgiving ocean. I, the sea's a cruel mistress. No ways about it. Wonderful, I love it. Hmm. Should we just listen? All of a sudden, the beguiling song of the sirens reached my ears. Now, you'd think sirens would sing a four, trying to lure ye to wreck ye ship on the rocks. Nay, sirens be having a bum rap. They even tried to save some of me mates, but twas too late. Many claims by the copper. Afterwards, we all, sailors and sirens alike, got exceedingly drunk off some grog we found. Can't let the chance for a good party to go to waste, eh? Can I tell you a story? That was most excellent. A fine tale. Uh, what did this have to do with anything? Absolutely, the scallywag. Customers <laughs> always willing to hear tales of glorious exploits. Okay, I was working at my desk now. I was walking in the city. I was going to the shop. I was also saying the many you know. I was walking in the city. A lot of regular people working my hand. The sun was shining under my face, holding a list of important ingredients, searching for an old abandoned harbor. Suddenly I smelt. All of a sudden I heard. Suddenly I saw. Out of nowhere I tasted. Old paper and ink, strange muted noises like yapping, a rainbow across the sky, ash and decay, a sharp spike of pain, tasting, a sharp, tasted. Afterwards, subsequently, soon enough, at that moment, I'm told to report to the boss. I was set upon by the cutest puppy ever. I found myself face to face with a handsome stranger, and the nascent monster appealed, appeared. Uh, a spooky ghost came to me. They said I'd been doing a good job. They barked widely at me. They winked at me in an alluring manner. They asked for direction to the water park. They inquired if I'd seen their buddy anywhere. So I felt 
lost, <laughs> which was great, which was unhelpful, which I didn't care for, which made me think of existential, existential emptiness. Uh -huh. I see. Mm -hmm. Twas a most remarkable tale. A marvelous memoir. Marvelous. <laughs> it even brought up an empty void we all feel sometimes. In return, I offer ye a gift. Oh, really? This here contraption is called a phantasmalizer. Use it to measure the many spirits ye have imbued into your gullet. Handy after any visit to the tavern. Twas a great pleasure to have your attention. Time to head back to me emporium. Comrus awaits. Hey, if it isn't my good pal Grimoire. All the Reaper. Heck, has it already been a month? Seems like you just got here a couple hours ago. Word is, you've caused a huge mess out there in the world. Everything's like burning, drowning, dying all at once. Thought you had it locked down. I did what I could. To be perfectly honest, I did a bad talk on purpose. No. I, I have no idea. I suppose you'll just have to live with it then. A ruin on your hands, the office, disgrace. I don't think there's a redemption arc out of this one. I don't understand what went wrong. Probably not. If I could just start again. If I could just start again. That there's a mystery I can't help you with. I ain't privy to the intricacies of the work upstairs. Maybe you'll figure it out someday. Eventually. I wonder what's going to happen with the office now that you've got very little left to do. <laughs> Guess it'll get shut down. We can wait until a new organism takes over the world. Corporate re restructuring. I just want to go back to sleep. Mm. Maybe a new organism takes over the world in millions of years. I can give you that. Maybe not the best. So everybody's okay. dead now. Holy moly! Might be time to get that last drink. Huh? Sure. Uh, What's your poison? Um, hot death of universe ice coffee. Oh, that like that. that Sounds really good. I'm gonna take this Guaranteed one. Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. Drink it alone. The sweet and icy overtones of the mixture block out the bitter, earthy taste of coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. No, it doesn't. I'm actually, I was always drinking coffee while I was playing this game. Yet as the frozen cubes cling against your teeth, this whole endeavor feels distinguished and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. Au revoir. Hmm. Damn, what's gonna happen now? I, I'm actually excited to see, like, is there... What is this? Another office? Is there, like, an office job without a job, then? <laughs> Hello, Graham. We have come to it all last. Only one choice left to make. The last human must die. The end is nigh. Fate. What is this? Help. Serial killer has claimed the lives of the two priests so far. Feel the night creep inside our bones. Let us stop and wait until we freeze together. One last living entity stumbling across an endless wasteland drawing their final breath. It's the last human! What am I gonna do? <laughs> Michaela Pasco, do not too gentle into that good night. <laughs> You go gentle into that good night.
I am super curious. I'm just hoping I can repeat the last day again. I want to see what's going to survive. When she's going to survive. I know it's going to be the third strike and it's not. I can do something else, right? Let's hope it's the right decision. I still don't know what this is. What is this now? No idea. Oh god. Yes. Oh god, it's over. It's over. Aye. The end is nigh. It's been quite a run, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I can't buy it. <laughs> no, don't bow for me. But oh, the bar is still here. But I can't talk to him? Okay. Hello, the Grimace returns to our humble establishment. You know, soon there will be tumbleweeds rolling around unless things pick up a bit. I'll be going. Little Reaper. Okay. We have to talk. We have to talk now. <laughs> the last day, Grim. The last choice. So, how did you choose? Does it really matter? There was only one human. Spare the final act of defiance. As you wish. It does not matter. No. One human is not enough to save the species, after all. Yeah, that's true. But we ought not prolong the suffering of the last one. No need for such cruelty. Oh, dude, really? I take it you were behind it all somehow. What went wrong? I still don't get it for some reason. That would seem fairly obvious by now, I gather. The great dying is by my design. It is true, I do not love humanity. Not a bit. But why, you ask? But why? <laughs> I didn't ask, but, but why? I have grown tired of it all. This tedious existence. These humans. The endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. Do you know how long I have been doing this? I barely remember myself. I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop. But no one can leave until the job is done. But if the great dying claimed them all, then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. I had an idea. So, I had a feeling. I helped the great dying along, piece by piece. So it was his big plan. No need for an equilibrium. This office will not be necessary, and we can all fade away. And I was your trust opinion. Well, you sure got me. Never saw this coming. Total annihilation because you feel bad. Well, that's some egotism. Your hollow judgment is insignificant at this point. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. Goodbye. And farewell. Mankind succumbing to its innate flaws. Society's falling. Oh no. This is what I've done. Humanity wiped out. Oh god. I've got goosebumps. As you powerlessly wait to fade away. Fellow traveler, that was <laughs> fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did largely screw everything up. <laughs> Thank the you. The world is in shambles and all. Can't really change that. But 
I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There mm -hmm. ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. Any chance? The end? A new chance. No, da, 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 da. Lemon. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. What's going to happen when I just, Hang I'm going to get the three strikes spawn instantly? Spawn number nine, eight. I am fate. I am the keeper <laughs> of world order. I don't much care for being just 98. Can I be fate? Another ironic one. Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4. The Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> He's actually already manipulating yeah, here, me. Uh, like, already here. Right, yes. Okay, <coughs> whatever you say, boss. No, no, no. Delightful. I appreciate solid work ethics and a dedication to the craft. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Whatever, let's get this over with. If you want to work here, you will have to For some reason, I'm assuming attitude. it's going to be faster than the first Follow one. Follow me. I will show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. The thing is, if I'm going to get fired, then the next one is going to come and... Maybe the other person is going to do the my first decision. Like, I was even considering, hmm, should this person die? Should this person get spared? So it's like... Circle, you can get out. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Oh, I still look at my items. That's that's so nice. Do your job. Oink, oink. I just need to clean up a bit. Like this. One human has to die. I'm not gonna kill anyone. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna... You're gonna survive. And you're gonna survive. I wanna see if this is gonna be like a different ending. I'm not gonna do my job. I'm rebelling. I'm a rebel. Oh. The new death spawn. Welcome. <laughs> How was your first day? The day was awesome. I didn't kill anyone. Grim, I understand the job can be stressful and that these decisions do not come lightly. You cannot let everybody live. All our choices have serious consequences. 
Even if you cannot foresee them. The world is going down anyway. That is what I am for. Trust me and I will guide you. It will be for the benefit of everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're up to, so let's give this. Uh, me? I am to check your worth and educate you on any errors. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. But if you are so confident as to know better than me, all right, let us see how you manage. I have great hopes for you. Do not disappoint me. Oh, I will. Spawn mail. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. Simple task to balance out the mess up of yesterday. One human with info technology background has to die. Nobody's gonna die. Nobody. Nobody. Nope. Let's, but I want to see. Read our new article on the post humanist perspective for the future. And that's it. But people are unhappy now. So, everyone surviving is also not the right way. Because the bad guys are also surviving. Uh oh. What in the name of <laughs> highest management do you think you are doing? You cannot keep sparing every person. The equilibrium is at risk and here you are leading everyone to a catastrophe. This is your third and final warning. <laughs> if you continue with this misguided rebellion, I will be forced to terminate your contract. I've got a contract. Do your job. Now get out. I don't even have a choice to answer. He's so mad at me. <laughs> no, no, no. Is the bar open already? Oh, no. Can't was it. Maybe too early. A new day dawns with a slightly more people alive than was necessary based on our meticulous calculations. Try to follow the rules today and choose the appropriate number of profiles before you fax them to me. If humans have to die, let us rebalance it all. Personal medical data of millions stone by unknown hackers from a foreign nation. IT firm dealing with massive data breach lawsuit caused by careless worker. Because I'm not reading, I'm not even reading. Oh my god, the world is not nice. It was such a blue sky, just gray now. Because I'm not caring. Um, now everyone is gonna survive now. I think there are tons of endings in this game. At least I wanna get the, Z the other one. Everyone in life? Nah. Better, I'm not gonna read what they're doing. School bus driver, I hope you're a good guy. Hello, Fate! <laughs> He's gonna fire me. Grim, my latest <laughs> spawn. Three days you have been with us. I feel like How getting back feel? to work. Okay. Um. Hmm. Awesome, balancing the world, getting things done. I'm not balancing. Um. I'm gonna take this one. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in to <coughs> Enough. <laughs> I have grown tired of this insolence. You have demonstrated your refusal to follow set policy. Yep. Kinda. I am thus forced to terminate your contract with the Office of Death effective immediately. That's very unlucky. I, I, I really want to make a run where... It Maybe, hopefully, having like um, a blue sky, like a good world. You realize this means terminating your existence. Because what else would you do? That's okay. It saddens me to have wasted precious resources on summoning such a disappointment. It's okay. Hopefully, the next spawn will have <laughs> some merit. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now it's over. It's, uh, now it's over. I don't even have, uh... <laughs> you 
get spice because I took this one instead of death in Texas. <laughs> this is funny. Um, gallery. Oh my god, there are so many endings. Da -da -da. 